originally from North London. I now live in the Slough area. But when I was a teenager, I travelled to Israel, being told that it was a desert that had been turned into the land of milk and honey by Jewish immigrants. I got there and was horrified to hear that I should not speak to Arabs, I shouldn't get in a car with Arabs, they would rape me, murder me, steal my money. And I was shocked because I'd met Arabs in Morocco on a holiday and they weren't like that at all. When I got in the second car, because we were hitchhiking back in the day, I got exactly the same message as if it was form written. And I started to wonder why they were trying to turn me against another people. On the third time of hearing it, I thought I'm going to investigate and find out what is going on. I ended up staying in Palestine. I married a Palestinian Christian. I have two Palestinian daughters that were born in Palestine. And I lived there for 10 years and saw the apartheid as it was then, which is nothing compared to the atrocities and the apartheid that is going on now. And so for all those years ever since, I have been fighting this campaign. When we first moved back as a family, my children went to school and were asked, where are you from? And they said, Palestine. And people said, do you mean Pakistan? People have never even heard of Palestine. So look how far we've come. Now everybody knows the word Palestine. And I will keep on until my dying breath telling everybody why we need to support Palestine. It's the longest going injustice of our...